Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. For those of you who are new here, my name is Alex and today's video is all about grooming your Australian cattle dog, which I guess is kind of obvious, you know, from the title. I used to work in the pet industry for a long time and a good majority of that I was a groomer, including running my own grooming business. So here are all my tips for cattle dogs. So the first things first, bath time. Now some people state you never wash your cattle dog at all and that's just a no-no for me. They love to play in the dirt and they roll in poop perfume. So yes, you bathe them. It's also important to bathe them to keep their coat healthy. You know, some say once a year, which is fine. I personally wash my pups three to four times a year because they love their poop perfume. When I ran my shop, I bathed them monthly and their coats and skin were perfectly fine. I would not bathe more than once a month. Three to four times a year is a good range, depending how often they go for that poopy perfume. When shampooing, I pre-mix my shampoo with water in a bottle. Most grooming places, their shampoo comes out with the water. It's to dilute the soap. I personally love fresh and clean oatmeal shampoo. It was what I used in my shop and I absolutely loved it. And so did my clients. I'm also loving this Kiwi Spa one when I can't get the other one. There are many shampoos out there. You just have to find what works best for you and your dog. Always make sure you rinse all the soap out so it doesn't cause any skin irritation. And some other tips when bathing, fold their ear like forward and down so you don't get water in there while rinsing. Also hold their adorable snoot like up and back so you can thoroughly rinse under their neck and on the top of their head to avoid suds getting in their eyes. Next is drying. And yes, I have blue towels for my blue healers. Towel drying is perfectly fine. If it's cold outside, just please make sure they are completely dry before they go outside. And if you're going to use a dryer, use a pet friendly one. Some of our hair dryers have settings that are way too high, even on the lowest settings, and it can possibly harm your pup. I'm using one of my old dryers from my shop. I'm surprised it's actually still running after all these years, but this dryer is amazing, not only for drying, but it blows out some of the undercoat and it also allows me to see their skin for any signs of like fleas or ticks or any other skin irritations. It's a similar dryer to the ones that you see at those like bathe and go places they now have for dogs. On to brushes and brushing. This one we used to call the shoehorn at a place I worked at, but it's an optional shedding blade. I use it sometimes during the drying stage. You don't have to get one, it's just an option. It just helps get some of that undercoat out. What I suggest for a cattle dog is a slicker brush and a furminator. I personally brush once a month, but you can brush weekly. I will use the furminator all over and then I will use the slicker brush to catch any stray hairs and just to smooth everything out. There are off brands of the furminator that work just as well, but if you get one of these brushes, usually the medium size is the best for healers. The ones I have are kind of the older versions. I know they have a different design now and I'll probably be getting a newer one soon, but usually about the medium size is, is the best option to go for. Things to keep in mind about this brush, if you brush for too long or too hard, you can cause a razor burn type rash on your dog's skin or even cause them to bleed. I've seen it happen, so don't go nuts with it. Once over is usually enough, around like five to 10 minutes-ish. When you see less and less hair come out, that's usually kind of the indication that it's you're about done with the, with, the, with the Furminator. Also, if parts of it snaps or pieces of it break off, please replace it. Do not keep using it. You can cause scratches on their skin or even the skin could get caught in one of those pieces and then you're in for another thing. I've seen that happen too in the grooming industry. So please replace them. Also, please don't shave your cattle dog. Unless they have a medical reason, do not shave them. Their double coats protect them from the elements. If you don't like hair, brush them more often or don't bring a dog into your house. Nails should be trimmed every four to eight weeks depending on your pup and how much they naturally are grinding them down. If you're taking your healer out and about, they should be naturally grinding them down like on the pavement and on you know, rocks and trees, etc. But the average for most of my pups is six weeks. Unless you're like my Clea, where she grows Freddy Krueger nails out every four weeks, regardless of activity, then you can do every four weeks. And I might have to start doing every two weeks for her. I swear she's like pork cat. If you're unsure about the black nails, just nip the tips. And if they are super long, just trim the tips every two to four weeks until they're shorter. Try not to cut the quick. It freaking hurts and it's painful. So that's why I always tell people, if you're not doing this professionally, just try to nip the very top part of the nail and if you want them shorter, you can just increase doing nail trims every two weeks or every four weeks until you can get them to where they need to be. And then you can go back to doing every six to eight weeks. But I do recommend keeping quick stop on hand. If you do cut the nail too short, this will stop it. When they are babies, you use the baby size nail trimmer. And when they get a bit older, you get a medium size nail trimmer. 
And this is the good old Miller's Forge, the orange handle trimmers that I think every groomer has had at one point or another. It's what I still use today, and I also use this other medium-sized one because older pups' nails can get thicker and harder to cut, so you need something a little bit stronger sometimes. If you can get your pup to use a nail grinder or a Dremel, awesome. If not, that's okay too. But I always do a light sanding after a trim. If they jerk back while sanding, that kind of gives you an indication that you might be starting to hit the quick as well. But it's a great way to smooth out the nails, and it also can help get your nails shorter without harming your pup. If you decide to clean your cattle dog's ears, once a month is plenty. They have ear wipes you can use, or you can get, you know, one of the liquid forms. You can even use a vinegar water solution if you don't want to get any of the medicated kind of stuff. If using a liquid, get some cotton balls or cotton pads and put some of the liquid on it, squeeze out any of the excess, and then go in and rub it around. Like, don't shove your entire hand down there or anything like that, but just like go in there on the inner part of the ear. And after you've wiped out the inside, you can also wipe out the inner outer part of the ear, like the, the part of the ear that's visible to you, <laughs> and then just repeat on the other side. And if some liquid does get down in there, don't worry, they will shake it out. I don't clean my dog's ears that often because Silver actually cleans out the pup's ears for me, so she's a very good mama dog, and as you can see, there was not much that came out of Gypsy's ears. Silver does a pretty good job for me. <laughs> so if your cow dog gets some like goopy eyes or like kind of tear stain looking things, which most of them don't get that, but pups like Gypsy sometimes do because, you know, allergies. Um, when allergy season happens, she will get sometimes runny eyes. So if there's any like little crusties or anything, you always want to use a soft cloth with warm water. And if they have a really bad crusty, you just leave it there, kind of like a warm compress for a moment, and then you can wipe it away. Always use a wet cloth when cleaning your pup's face. Do not use a dry, rough towel or, or paper towel or anything like that. Using a dry towel can actually be kind of painful or uncomfortable feeling and can actually cause damage if you accidentally rip away a crusty. Okay, going over teeth brushing one more time. Some vets will say once a week, others will say three to four times a week or even daily. Do it as often as you can and as often as the puppy will let you. Go slowly and get them used to it and, you know, brush the outside of their teeth all around. Start with getting them used to the front teeth and then move your way to the side and eventually move your way all the way to the back. It takes time getting them used to it, but the more you can do it, the better. And then after they are all clean, they will go roll in the grass or go do home run slides on the carpet you forgot to vacuum and get some of that dirt back on them. If you guys want more details on nail trims or how I get my pups used to doing all this, you'll be able to see all that when I bring home our new puppy. So stay tuned for that. So you should click all the buttons so you can get the notifications for when those come out. And please remember senior pups have a harder time doing grooming sessions. You might want to do the groom in multiple sessions or not bathe as often. And they just can't handle it like they used to when they were younger. It's very stressful and straining on their bodies. So just do what you can for them and remember they've earned the right to just relax in their golden years. And please always check with your veterinarian before starting ear or teeth cleaning at home just to make sure there's no like weird ear infections or you know yeast infections in the ears or any kind of dental issues that might have started. It's always a good thing just to check beforehand. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked this video, please remember to give it a thumbs up and we will see you next time. Bye.